Hi, in this follow-up tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the buttons I missed out in the previous tutorial. Uh, and the previous tutorial, P, C, Paul, and Rec. So, start first. P is actually um, what do you call it? P P ah, I forgot what P stands for. Anyway, it's just picking. You have, let's say you have item A, item B, item C. How many ways can you arrange it? It's called permutations. Yeah, P stands for permutation. So, for example, you have five objects. And there are zero of them that are the same. Eh? Is she? I don't know. Wait, what? They are, if, and, and all of them are the same. Wait, all, all of them are, five of them are different. Then you have two, 120 possibilities. What if zero of them are different? Then you only have one possibility. So that's why if six of them are different, it's, it's impossible. So you get a math error. So you can try really big numbers. Anything permutation zero is one. Even even don't know ten to the power of ten to the power of ninety nine because that's the highest you can even go. Eh? Okay, wait what? Maybe it's too big or something. Ten to the power of fifty. Oh whatever. Anyway, how about C? C is a. Uh, okay, I forgot again. Uh, maybe after I talk about it, I'll remember. C is. You you have say you have uh, A B C D E P, uh, marbles inside a hat or something, and you take three out. So let's say you have five marbles and you take three out. How what are the possibilities that there are? We we are not come we are not we don't care about the what do you call that the order anymore just what marbles you take out so you have 10 different possibilities of taking out different marbles uh c stands for uh, whatever okay now to paul and rec now you know you know graphing right graphing this if x and you have X and you have Y and that yeah that's a normal kind of graphic. Say you wanna do X X equals to Y, it's like that. Anyway you know what I mean. Um yeah. But there's also another way. It's called polar coordinates. Just now that way it was called rectangular coordinates. Now we're talking about polar coordinates. You get where I'm going? So, polar coordinates is say, okay, it's not measuring x and y, it's measuring the degrees, um, number of degrees, uh, in the uh, number of degrees from the x axis, number of degrees, that's theta, it's just a weird little shape I'm showing you later. It's a oval with a line in between, and the length of that line, which is called r, which stands for radius. So there are two different components: the radius and the angle. So with pole and rec, pole, you convert rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So let's say I have um one and one. So it should be four. Deep for 45 degrees and I don't know how many what what one square root of two and theta is 45 this is theta so you can you can say oh put zero and one and like hey can you type this <laughs> I I don't know whether anybody will unless unless they read the manual the manual yeah and anyway, a rectangular that's just now we had square root of two 
and we had um, what was the other one? Night forty-five. X equals to one. Y equals to one. Yeah. So that's it for the video. Um, thanks for watching.